I'm Nick Pomeroy with PR Equipment out here in Currents, Texas. Hey, today we're on the field to do another tractor pull-off. In this corner, we've got the Massey Ferguson 4710 versus the Massey Ferguson GC1725M. We want to see which one can pull harder. Or maybe not. So we've got a scale hooked up, and the, basically what we're doing is a high-pressure stall test for a hydrostat. But instead of focusing on how much pressure the hydrostat is building, we're focused on how hard this hydrostat will pull. And so what that means for you is how hard will it pull my box blade? How hard will it pull my plow? How hard will it pull my disc? And so for a small tractor like this, I don't know, you know, how much, how hard will this tractor pull? It's a 24 horsepower-ish tractor. Uh, obviously it's got four wheel drive. It's kind of got a smaller tire package. So it's gonna be kind of interesting just to see how hard this tractor will pull. We're gonna pull it in high and we're gonna pull it in low just to see the differences there. So we've basically got this chain hooked between the, the 10,000 pound 4710, uh, and then we've got it hooked to the, to the GC here, along with the scale. It is in kilograms. Uh, unfortunately, I bought the kilogram scale. But, so obviously we know roughly 2.2 pounds per kilogram, so that kind of gives us a rough conversion. But we're gonna pull this thing and see exactly what it can do. So we'll know at that point just how strong this tractor is. So I'm gonna fire it up, and I'm gonna get up to the rated PTO speed. That way we can kind of use it as a baseline. And first off, we'll start in high. We'll pull one more time. Okay, so it looked like about 350 in the kilograms is what we did, which roughly I think equates to what, 7, 750-ish, something like that. Um, now we're gonna put it in low and see how much difference that makes. So there are some tractors in this category, not a Massey, but there's some category, tractors in this category that are a single range hydro set. So it's something to think about when you're purchasing a tractor this size is having that second range and what does that mean for the power to ground? So we're gonna try it in low and just see what it does. So I'm gonna run it back up to rated PTO. And we're gonna pull it again. Second try. like that time we're up to about 715 so we're double right so going from from high to low doubles our pulling power which I mean is I know that gear ratio if it's if it's you know two to one one to one we would expect that but I was actually pretty impressed to see that going to low gave us so much more pulling power so think of that in terms of when I go in to take a bucket load and how much power I'm gonna have to, to dig into that pile maybe it's been setting for a while so it's a little harder packed dirt how much power I'm gonna to have to dig into that pile. And so, or like say in, in more of a pulling application, just how hard will it pull whatever implement that I have behind it. So 715 I think was the max we saw there compared to a tractor of a little larger category of another brand that we did previously, that's pretty close. And for a, for a Massey of this size, that, that's pretty impressive to me. Uh, so once again, I'm Nick Pomeroy with PR Equipment. We love getting out here doing this kind of stuff, just seeing what this equipment can do. Uh, if y'all have any suggestions or comments, definitely shoot them out. Uh, subscribe to us on, on YouTube, like us on Facebook to continue to follow what we do and, and how we do it. And, and if y'all are in the market for some equipment, come check us out here in Kearns, Texas, or give us a call. Thanks.